Greetings and welcome to the channel. I am the Shotgun Shogun and I wanted to go over a few simple things that you are going to want to know as a beginner. During my gameplay stream, I got a lot of questions, so I decided that I wanted to go ahead and make this just so that for those of you who are just getting into the game, uh, you will be able to see and understand some of the things that you are going to need. So as you can see, we are at the main town screen. You can run left and right, and you can talk to people. Now you're gonna wanna talk to these people because it will increase your bond level with them, which will give you um, a bunch of different things, and I'll show you that here in a moment. Now, for the menu, starting from left to right, this is your character screen. This is where you will set up your party. This is where you will look at your status boards. This is also where you will level enhance your units. You can see your character lists. So this will give you your CP rewards, which this is your bond XP here. So as you increase your bond level, uh, you can you see you can get additional rewards. You also have your album here, which will show you all of these servants that you have in the game. The nice thing with this too is that let's say you don't have a servant, but you want to know what they do anyways, you can pull up that servant. Now it will show you them at their max level. So that will give you an idea of, hey, do I want this servant? How good are they? Etc. So now that we have that out of the way, let's go to the interact menu button. So this will allow you to scroll through all of the servants that you have collected and you can interact with them. What does that mean? Well, you can change their outfits. Personally, I am digging this Hestia outfit, but let's say you, you don't and you want to change to this Hestia outfit. Bam, now you have this Hestia outfit. You can listen to them talk. Granted, we don't have subtitles for these, so this really doesn't do a whole lot for you. Uh, but there's that. You can also go through stories as well. So they will have quests, stories, outfits that you can unlock as you as you go. So that is a little bit of the interact menu button. Let's go to missions. These are where you're going to get your daily missions, your overall missions, your time limited missions, as well as your rookie mission. And let me tell you right now, the rookie mission is very, very important. You want to make sure that you are doing this because when you finish this, you will get a four star ticket. So you'll get a random four star if you finish that. Uh, blacksmith will not be open for you, uh, but as you progress, this will open further down the road. This is where you can buy weapons to further increase the abilities of your units, as well as armor. Uh, crafting, obviously, I don't have that open. Repairing your weapons, as you go through, uh, you will lose um, durability on your weapons. So you will need to repair these at during um, during the game. And equipment list will show you all of the things that you have available. So let's move on to the gotcha. I'm sure you are all fairly well aware of the gotcha, but this is the gotcha screen. That is where you will be rolling for banners. You will be rolling for servants. Here's the shop. This is where you can purchase Iris. The item shop where you can purchase unlockables. This, I do not believe, are in-game at the moment. If they are, I have not found them, so let's not worry too much about that. Event exchange will be for the events that are going on. Um, as you can see, there is quite a few things in here. Um, I will probably be doing a guide, or at least my overview of this event, and whether or not you should be working on it. And then special exchange. This is the one that's actually kind of important. So I don't know anything about these. I haven't seen anything drop yet. Uh, but let's go to this. This is where you are going to need to exchange your lower level Falnas for higher level ones. So let me, I'll get into that, but let me tell you why this is important because 
you can farm lower level ones to get the higher level ones to increase the abilities of your characters. So you can trade 10 of a smaller one to get one of the larger ones. Uh, you also have, this is where you'll do your four star exchange if you got the start dash pack. Um, this is pretty much an interest, a good place. This also tells you how many paid Irish you have versus how many free. Um, the arena unlocks when you clear, I believe, the fifth, um, fifth story quests. So this will be where you can go for, um, for more, more missions. But I will go into that on a separate video. This is your quest menu. Uh, now, as you can see over here, the bell episode is half stamina. You can see right there at the top, it says half stamina for stories. So that way you can get through it and get caught up. If you tap on boost, this will give you your quests that give you the boosts to your characters. The Falna quests, um, you will get two unlocked a day. You can unlock um, any of the other ones by using the orbs over here on the left hand side underneath the banner that will unlock one of these for an hour. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, let's say it's not the correct day uh, and you need to farm dex faunas instead of skill or magic. Well, you can unlock this for an hour and then just farm to your heart's content. That way you can, you don't have to wait to upgrade your units. Now, here is this one you have to unlock in order to do it. This one is basically your XP quests. This one will help you get XP books. You also get quite a bit of XP while you're doing this. So this is really good if you have units that you just... Uh, ascended or ranked up and you need to get them XP leveled or you have somebody that you just pulled and you need to get them some levels. Uh, Valis quest obviously is another unlockable. This one will give you gold. And then I've finished this, but make sure you do these guidance quests. These do give you quite a bit of um, extra stuff and they are very easy. Now, if you click on the event tab, this will take you to the event and you can go through and you can clear all of your event stuff. So with that, let's go over here there. I've had a couple people ask, how do I rank up my servant? Well, you go in here and as you can see on the right hand side, and I have I have ranked my bell up a couple times now. But what you are going to want to do is you are going to want to fill out this diamond grid on the right hand side. Once this is completely full, you can then click on rank up and that will give you an additional star and an additional grid to fill out. Now, to finish the rookie quest, you will need to six star this bell. So please, please, please work on this guy right out the gate. I know you're going to want to level up all of your four stars, uh, you know, sink all of your resources into that. Please focus on Bell because you're going to need that because the four star that you get is going to be very important. Now, one other thing that I would like to point out is, as you can see over here on the right hand side, second up from the bottom, the import button. Now, I'm not going to click on that because it'll show you my import key. Make sure you go in there and issue yourself an import key. Now, make sure you write it down, take a screenshot of it, whatever you have to do. If for some reason you lose your phone, your phone breaks, whatever happens, this will be your code and password to reissue yourself an account on a new device. So please make sure that you are doing that. Uh, you don't need to do it regularly, but you do it once, you set your password, you put it in a safe spot. I'd say make three copies of it. I know that's a little bit overboard, but it's very important. You don't want to lose your account. So I hope that this video of the menu, all of that stuff helped you out by getting yourself on the, on your feet. And uh, if you do have any questions, just let me know down in the comments below and um, make sure you hit that subscription button. 
because I will be making more content for this. I would like to be putting together um, tier lists for you guys, you know, go through that. I will be playing uh, this game fairly regularly, so expect plenty of updates. I will also be doing Fate Grand Order content still on my channel. Don't worry, that's not going to change. Um, and yeah, I will be streaming Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays now. So if you're at, if you're interested, make sure you hit the bell button over next to subscription so that you can get notified whenever I go live for streaming. Uh, check out the giveaway down in the comment section. And yeah, I think that's it. I think I went through all of the stuff. Anyways, guys, I will catch you next time. I'm the Shotgun Shogun. Peace.